This is my another video about Laravel application. In this video, I am going to describe that how can you have different directory structure for admin and front end. This is really needed when you want to have your application well organized. At the later stage of your application, you will have many files for admin and also for the front end. And both the side would have a different requirement. To cover these things up, we need to have different file folders for admin and also for the front end. So I will describe how can we achieve this. Let's start by showing you my local installation of Laravel. So here on left side you can see that uh, my Laravel directories are there. And this is just the default installation, nothing has been done so far in this one. So first I will start my local environment by typing p php artisan show. So this, this has started. Um, development server in my local machine so let me show you my browser now and uh, I will go to localhost 8000 because it's listening the port 8000 so as we can see that the Laravel installation is working properly now uh, the first step is to open your app.php file so let's go to the directory structure and open config app.php in this file we will have to add two new keys and it key and its values so first key we are going to add is um, app um, that's your admin route so for admin route basically uh, you should be using admin or anything else the another thing you will have to add is app scope basically we will uh, utilize this app scope to find out that whether the current URL is of admin or of the front end so this two key will have default values which of course you can we will change it at the later stage uh, now open app provider app service provider under that you will have to go to the boot function so first we will have to call use illuminate I should be capital illuminate HTTP request we will use request instance in the boot function as an argument so through this request uh, variable we will try to find out all the segments of the URL so um, first let me pull it out the first uh, segment segments request segments we'll call it request segments okay so we will uh, we'll basically call it path area because this will return all the uh, array of the given path the next thing we will do is we will find out admin route what is our admin route that's that we have already defined in app.php in configuration so we'll app dot admin route and now we will try to find that if in the path array do we have the admin route if we do have then um, the apps dot app scope should be admin by default remember we do have the front the app scope is front but because uh, we have now found out that we do have uh, a kind of URL like HTTPS localhost 8000 admin uh, anything so in the in this case it will consider the scope as the admin scope so now find out app scope app scope 
so here depends upon the app scope app scope is equal to admin if then we will define a path that is resource path admin views so basically resource path uh, will resolve your base directory resources uh, admin and views so it will try to find uh, a particular blade file in this relative folder if it's not admin then the path should be resource path front and views so here we have already separated this to directory under the resource folder and of course we will have to add this particular location in view so we will add view add location and we will add the particular relative path so here we have already um, added a particular relative path based upon the application scope now we will have to of course create a related directory under the resource folder so here i will create two folders one is for front and another is for admin so front directory is for all the front files and the admin directory is for all the admin files um, in this front files by default we already have views folder so what i'll do is i will re rename or i will simply move this view into the front so now we have front views and also we need to have admin views because we have admin and views and front and views so front already have views right so let me show you my browser very quickly and if i will refresh then let's see what it comes what it comes up with yes in array expect parameter to be array string given oh okay it's uh, i mean i mismatched uh this two it should be the second should be array instead i added the first so let me show you what i'm changing at the moment so it should be admin route and here it should be path array okay so now it should be fine let's go back to browser yes here we go yes so you see that now the, this blade file is loaded from the resource front views and welcome.blade.php file so now this directory structure has been separated now let's go to admin and we'll try to create uh, one route and also its view um, let's go to routes web.php and we will create route get admin login and function return view uh, let's say just uh, login we'll create login.blade.php file under the admin views directory new file login.blade.php so as we all know that in laravel uh, view structure we are using layouts as well so in this view folder you can even create create layouts folder and under the layout we will create one new layout file that is app uh, admin.blade.php okay um, in this uh, layout file we will try to add some demo code structure for html so let me quickly do that let's add doc type that's html let's start with html then head under head we will add meta name oh sorry just uh, character set utf8 then meta name viewport 
that uh, this is for responsiveness uh, content width is equal to device width and initial scale is equal to one i guess yep so the next thing is we'll add the title that should be admin dashboard or you can even use php code to have a dynamic um, title so now relationship will we will now attach a link um, style sheet as well so style set, oops style sheet type text css and href is equal to um i will tie uh, cdnjs materialize uh, default css file okay and i will also add google fonts okay so the head is ready next thing is body under the body i will use uh, dvid app so this is a default wrapping view the next is i will use include to have my uh, headers and footers parcels dot header include parcels dot footer now of course we need parcels directories under admin views partials this is uh, for header and the footer so that you don't have to rewrite header and the footer for each and every view file and they are separately managed okay so under the header file i will add default navigation so this is basically the default navigation for materialized css uh, and also we'll add a default code for footer just the copyright information for footer yep so now the header file is saved footer file is saved and we will uh, of course how to yield our um, let's say view id main and let's yield our content over here so now let's go back to login and say extends layouts dot app admin so we are extending this particular layout and let's say section content and section and we'll just have to write right now h1 tag login content goes here this is just for a test so nothing fancy is going to be here right so let me show you my browser and let's try to resolve admin dot login route in the browser and see what it comes up with login. you see login content goes here so now you can see that we have different directory structure for admin and also for the front end uh, as we have different two directory admin and front of course you can create your js file in the admin directory and you can call it accordingly and that will work perfectly and if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular uh, tutorial you can write it in the comment section and uh, i will be glad to answer all of them thank you very much